Today I'm reviewing Super Mario Felines. No, Super Cat Tails 2. Is it a perfect mobile platformer or does it belong in a litter box? There's only one way to find out. Looks like kitty cats make great platforming mascots. Super Cat Tails 2 claws its way onto Android and Apple devices. First up, gameplay. Run, jump, crawl, and attack in this simple kitty cat arcade platformer. The controls are easy enough, yet they take time to master. Basically tap and hold in the direction you want to go, then double tap and hold to run, jump, and pounce. While this control scheme works well overall, you will need to time your taps, as well as choose the right friendly feline for the job. Different cats have their own abilities. Beefy Tomcat for attacks, Nimble Kitty Cat for long jumps, and even Sailor Cat for fast swimming. See, cats like water. So go through a series of levels, collect acorns with butt cracks, and keep it moving. Get to a general store to purchase power-ups like shields and health, then make it to a robot boss fight, complete with your very own cat tank, because claws just aren't enough. The platforming within this game is nowhere near Super Mario Bros. Not that it's trying to emulate it, I was just let down by its choice of controls and platforming aspect. Then again, once you master its mechanics, you'll be zipping through levels with cat-like reflexes. So although I wasn't blown away by what the gameplay has to offer, I still managed to enjoy the challenge that came along with it, as well as the clever yet simple level design. It's like when you feed your cat wet food, then you give it dry food the next day. The cat's gonna look at you with disappointment, but they'll eat it anyway. Next up, graphics. A callback to the gaming days of yore. The game does its best to represent old school platforming while still maintaining bright cutesy visuals. One cannot help but notice the Super Mario Bros 3 influence here. Even the overworld map brought me back to the blow in the cartridge days. The variation of different levels is also a plus. Going from a harbor to an underwater level to a beach feels fluid. The simple text-based cutscenes feels nostalgic and the kitty cat pixels are cute. Yes, I use the word cute. Overall, I appreciate the graphical presentation for its simple retro look. Finally, free playability. A free to play game that costs less than a bag of cat food. The game relies on video ads more than in-app purchases. If you die, you can watch an ad to revive. Sometimes you have to watch ads to play a level. These ads do tend to get annoying. I'm talking cat meowing in your face annoying. Yet it's still a great way to play a completely free game. If you enjoy the gameplay enough, you can pay $4.99 to remove ads and support the developer. Though that choice depends on how much fun this game really offers. Too bad it doesn't implement ads for kitty litter or cat food. Talk about clever marketing. So now that we dipped our paws in the world of Cat Tales 2, is it a download it, a give it a try, or a waste of space? Super Cat Tales 2 runs, leaps, and claws its way in as a minus give it a try. Oh, I get it. It's called Cat Tales because cats have tails, but it's also a tale of cats. That's called a play on words. This game is not going to replace your favorite retro platformer. In fact, it bears little resemblance to the games it gets its influences from. Yet that doesn't mean it's not enjoyable for what it is. A simple yet challenging cat-like jumper. A game that can be played in quick play sessions in between giving your real life cat some attention. Some may like the casual arcadey gameplay, while others may opt for a more hardcore play session. The graphics are special in their own right, and the monetization is done right, even if the video ads get in the way. If you live amongst stray cats and want a game that lets you dream of being a cat hopper, then give it a play. Or if this game just doesn't seem like your cup of catnip tea, then you might want to give it a pass. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I once had a cat named Xena and a dog named Hercules. Now that's clever. 